Hello my lovely friends, my name is Ava and today we're going to be talking about some of my favorite heroes ever, which are cinnamon roll heroes. Baby, baby. My favorite type of hero honestly is not the alpha one, it's the cinnamon roll sweet squishy cute heroes i am obsessed with them i think that's just because like that's my taste in real life are sweet kind men and so that's why i love my romance books and so some of these books are my favorite of all time and so we're gonna get we're gonna get into it one of my favorite heroes of all time is ren bergman i love him he is like the epitome of a cinnamon roll hero he is like my ultimate book husband i am obsessed with him so this is a romance between Frankie and Ren. And Ren is a hockey player and Frankie is kind of like the social media manager of the hockey team. Frankie has uh, autism and she has rheumatoid arthritis. So there's great disability rep in here. Ren has been hardcore crushing on Frankie for years, but he knows that she's not ready for a relationship or she claims that she's not. So he's been very patiently waiting his time to kind of like make his move. Um, at the beginning of this book, Frankie's apartment gets broken into and all the windows and the door locks are ruined. And so he's like, how about you stay at my place while everything's getting fixed? And so they stay in the same house together. And um, Ren finally reveals his feelings for Frankie. And she's like, okay, um, he is the sweetest bean ever. He will do anything for Frankie. I adore him. I can't really say anything else besides that I'm in love with him. Um, if you've never read this book, you need to just to read about Ren Bergman and how amazing he is. Also writer from book one, Only When It's Us, is pretty cinnamon hero type to me. Um, this is a college set romance. Willa and Ryder are in the same um, class in college and Willa is a soccer player and she ends up missing some classes and she goes to a professor and is like, hey, I need the notes. And she's like, okay, ask your neighbor. She goes and asks a writer who's her neighbor and he ignores her. And she's like, what the heck? Why is this man ignoring me? I need these notes to pass this class. And then later she realizes that he didn't hear her because he's deaf. And she's like, well, darn it, I am horrible. But then the two of them also have kind of like an animosity relationship. The two of them don't really get along, but then they're forced to work together on a school project where they're forced to spend time together. And it grows into love between the two of them. This is really cute and really sweet. I feel like writer definitely in here is a sweet cinnamon roll hero bean too. I feel like just the men in this series are such in touch with their emotions and being sweet to their women. I love them. Then I have Alex from People We Meet on Vacation by Emily Henry. This is the romance between Poppy and Alex, kind of like college best friends grow into more. Um, but this book kind of like flip flops in between past time when these two were best friends and go on a vacation together every single year at present time when they have not spoken to each other in years. And they basically go on one last vacation after not seeing each other for many years, kind of like as a last hurrah. And they get into a lot of shenanigans, hilarity. This book made me laugh a lot. Um, I feel like Alex in here was really sweet and cute and like, I just wanted to pinch his cheeks, honestly. I feel like he was a great friend to Poppy. He would do anything for her and he was so, stinking cute in here. This is a great vacation read for anybody wanting to read a vacation-esque read during the summertime. I then have a paranormal romance for you. We have Mating the Huntress by Talia Hebert. Um, this is her werewolf shifter one. This is the romance between Chastity and Luke. So Luke is a wolf shifter and he goes into this restaurant or diner one day and ends up scenting his mate and realizes that it is the woman working there named Chastity. And he is like, oh my word. He doesn't know what to do. He is so like blushy and cute and doesn't know how to approach her and just like sits in her like tables at the restaurant, like just like looking at her for days and not knowing what to do and how to get up enough courage to go and talk to her because like that's his mate. And little does he know that Chastity already knows that Luke is a wolf shifter just by scenting and looking at him because her family is full of uh, werewolf hunters. And so she's like, there is a wolf in this restaurant. I need to kill it. Um, and so Luke finally gets enough courage to go ask Chastity out. And she agrees because she's like, this is the perfect opportunity for me to kill him, to prove to my family that I can be a werewolf huntress. And so they go on this date and she tries to kill him. And he's like, oh my gosh, you are so cute. You're trying to kill me. Like he is even more in love with her after she tries to kill him. It is so cute. Luke is so stinking cute and sweet. I love him. I hope that all the other heroes in this series, whenever she gets to writing the other books in this series, I hope they're all like Luke and sweet, like kind of like simps for their women and will do anything for them because 
that's my kind of hero. Next, I have Theo from Nerdgasm by Kimberly Reese, an all-time favorite of mine. I love this one. This is another college set romance where Theo is the TA to this professor and our heroine Addie is one of the students in the class. And right when she sees her TA, she looks at him and is like, I want him. He's mine. And so she tries so hard to get him and Theo is just so cute and sweet. He's a very innocent, wink, wink, innocent hero. Um, and he actually grew up with a severe stutter. He's been able to go through speech therapy and everything to where it's not as apparent. Um, it only really comes out when he's really nervous, especially around women. And Addie thinks he is the cutest thing ever. And Theo is just so respectful and kind and sweet and so stinking cute. Their relationship progresses very slow, kind of like, naturally the way that I would want a relationship to progress. I'm not the kind of person who rushes things in the physical department and Addie and Theo don't do that either. And so I loved reading about that and their relationship was just so sweet and cute. I love both of these characters and their romance in here was amazing. Next I have Brooklyn Air by Serena Bowen. This is a fan favorite. So this is the romance where our hero is the owner of this very popular hockey team called the Brooklyn Bruisers and our heroine is kind of like his assistant and he's been crushing on her for years ever since he got out of a messy divorce and so he's been trying to do everything in his power to like hint at her that he likes her but he doesn't want to like make her feel uncomfortable in the workplace obviously and doesn't want to like ruin her job. In the previous book in the series the heroine falls on the ice rink and ends up getting a concussion. And so the hero in this book tries to take care of her while she is going through this concussion and trying to treat her and help her and everything. I just love caretaking scenes so much and there are plenty in this book and he cares for her so well. I love it. He's basically a cute, adorable nerd. Like, I love that. I love that. This couple in here is so stinking sweet. I love when the heroine finally like, realizes that she has feelings for the hero too. And it is so good. I have two Ruby Dixons to mention really fast. We have When She's Bold, which is book number six, a part of her Risdiverse series. So this is the romance between Lucy and Rektar. And so Lucy lives on this planet called Rizda 3, where there are a bunch of human refugees living there who have been abducted by Earth illegally. Rektar is kind of like one of the people tasked to protect the humans. Lucy has a huge crush on Rektar. And she goes to his office like every single day to bring him baked goods and she loves baking and cooking and everything. And she's like hitting on him and flirting with him hardcore. And he just does not understand. He does not understand that she's flirting with him. And she's trying so hard and gets so frustrated that he's not picking up on her hint. But he's like so cute and sweet and like just doesn't get it. He doesn't understand. And once he realizes what Lucy's doing, he's like, oh. <laughs> And man, does he, he goes for it for her. And he is so cute. And I just love their relationship in here. Lucy made me very hungry because she loves to bake and cook. Another cinnamon roll hero by Ruby. She's written Penny, but I'm only gonna mention two. Okay, I'm gonna limit myself. Um, we have Adaron, Adarion. I don't know how to ever say his name. And this is the first book in her, her Corsair Brothers series. He is so sneaking cute. Okay, so him and his brothers are trying to find this space treasure. They think it's on this long lost spaceship. They find it and find out there are human women living on this spaceship and have been alone for years. And so they're like, okay, we're gonna rescue you and everything like that. The women are like, okay, cool. And they end up leading them to this room and they lock them in there and they put some gas in there to knock them all out because they're actually going to steal from the men who boarded their ship. When Adaron sees the heroine of this book, through the window, her name is Jade. When he sees Jade through the window while he is being knocked out by this gas, he's like, holy crap, I am in love with this woman. Can you believe this woman is doing, like I am in love with her. <laughs> and so it is their romance. There's at one point, the two of them are stuck together on this spaceship alone. So it's kind of like forced proximity. Adaron is a big, I want to say words of affirmation and compliment person. And Jade has never been around somebody like that. So he constantly tells her the way that he feels about her and the way that she makes him feel. And like, she's like, whoa, I've never experienced this ever. And it is so refreshing. He's just so cute and would do anything for Jade. And I love him. Next is another favorite of mine. We have King Sized by Jessica Kane. I love this novella so much. Okay, this is about Rex and Britta 
Britta just became queen to this land because her parents ended up dying. Rex is one of her many bodyguards who is standing outside of her door and can hear her crying. And so he goes into her room to comfort her because no one else will. And Britta kind of like realizes who Rex is and finally starts to notice him and starts to fall for him and how sweet he is. Like he is one of the sweetest heroes I've ever read about ever. He's a big teddy bear of a hero. I love this one so much. I know Jessica Kane writes a lot of alpha heroes like dominant ones whereas like rex is kind of the opposite and it is so attractive to me and lastly we have love in the wild by emma castle this is a tarzan retelling so thorn in here was abandoned um in this jungle his parents ended up dying in this jungle after a plane crash and he's been living in this jungle and being raised by gorillas um it is years later thorn is grown up um, and so Eden, our heroine, is on this, I want to say, National Geographic tour through this jungle. They end up getting taken over by raiders and her whole entire party is killed. Except for her, right before she's about to die, Thorn swoops in and saves her and brings her back to his treehouse and claims that she's his mate. This one is super duper cute. I love a Tarzan retelling. You wouldn't think that a Tarzan character would be a cinnamon roll. But Thorn definitely is. But anyways, there you have it. Those are some of my favorite cinnamon roll heroes. Let me know down below if you want a part two to this video. And also let me know if you have any recommendations for me down below. If you don't feel like commenting any of those things, you can leave me any plant related emoji in the comments. But anyways, thank you all so, so much for watching. I will see y'all soon in my next one. Bye y'all. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day.